It was day three of our Nevada backcountry discovery rod adventure. We'd camped last night at Big Creek Campground in the Humboldt Toyabe National Forest. This morning we'd pass through the small community of Austin, then head from there on the longest leg of the entire NVBDR without fuel support, 209 miles to Elko. How far is it to Austin? I think it's like 20 miles. Yeah, something like that. Close. Okay. We're close. Yes. I'm fine to get to Austin. I may have to stop on the trail and use a jerry. I'm going to yeah. try to get to Austin. I think I'm good. I've got about three eighths of a tank. Okay. So, okay, water. Oh, I need to. We need to. I, I need to top up in Austin, but yeah. we're fine. We're using a lot of water. I'm, I'm carrying that. Well, I start off with 18 gallons. I still got the 10 gallons, but I don't consider that potable because of the bladder I keep it in. I don't ever. I don't ever treat it like that. Mm. So we're looking for water there. We're looking for anything else in Austin. Paper towel. Yeah, I think we do need a little grocery okay, or so yeah, a little grocery run. I did. Uh, okay. I did promise uh, some ice cream, so oh, yeah. we can find some ice cream. So okay, please, whether something it's about a dozen store. small ones, all you can eat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly. Something like that. Yeah, I think Until yeah. All gone. A, gro a grocery to reprovision on a couple of things would be perfect. All right. Okay, then uh, once we get through all, uh, Austin. Uh, I believe this is, I should have looked at the map, I believe this is the 207 mile yes, leg to yeah. Elko. Yes. And, uh, Pretty so, serious. Yeah, we could spend one or two nights on that. And we're going to have to look closely trail. at that because we looked at it last night yeah. and if we look, if we went just a hundred miles like we did yesterday, mm -hmm. that's going to put us in kind of an interesting path that doesn't look like there's much there. It's just so, like a valley. It's a valley. A hundred miles is about a valley where we were. And prop. Have you checked the property? Management no, we site? haven't yet. I didn't. I can check it on uh, on X. Uh, okay. We'll okay. check that as we're going yeah. along. Yeah, we're, we're going to need to just. It. Let's do this then. Okay. Throw Ready? All Break. Right. Western Radio Tango Bravo five two two. Ready to roll. Whiskey Romeo Quebec Yankee six two seven. Ready to roll. W R E N nine two four. Ready to roll. All right, GoPro. Hello, hello. Good morning. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, mommy. Where you at? Oh, here. I was she was drinking, drinking water. Good morning. All right, we are on day three, leaving. Uh, I did notice yesterday. Big Creek. Alex Big said Creek. the Q letter incorrectly. Big Creek, Creek Campground. Supposed to be pronounced Quebec. Quebec. Big Creek. And. Um, Quebec for the Canadians. <laughs> and uh, we're headed out. Back on the road, back on the trail. We're gonna to try to get into Austin here. And um, it's about 20 miles we estimate, give or take. And if we can make it that far, I'm I'm very low on gas. So we'll see what the train is out of here and how far we get. Looks like there's actually quite a few of these little camp spots off to the left here uh, that are not in the official campground. We have a lot of places to choose from out here. So Mark, I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to put on some time here. If you do need us to slow down to stop dust, just let me know. It is very dusty. I've managed to get a couple of shots in, though, as we go around turn to uh, up and over the hills. Dust is really picking up. Uh, I'm having to back off a lot more. I'm doing 40. You want me to uh, slow down or maintain? No, I maintain. I just need to uh, back off until the dust isn't a problem, but keep going at a good pace, whatever you want. Roger that, I'll call out any hazards. Another thing we might check is uh, windshield washer fluid. When we get in there, a gallon between the three of us, we'll probably all use it. If we've been using. I know I've been using a lot of mine. Yeah, so have I, Mark. Damn, I kind of wonder if a gallon will be enough. 
Well, we're moving along pretty well. 40 miles an hour, 40, 45 miles an hour out of camp. We got a nice improved road here, but look at this gorgeous valley in front of us. Very cool. It's just beautiful out here. crossing the trail I've, I must have counted 60 by now they were telling me that they have the uh, Mormon I thought it was the Mormon grasshoppers they were telling me about and they said they, uh, they tend to migrate in large swarms of them in that the, the tale the Mormons tell the seagulls came in and saved their crops that's why it's the state state bird from the grasshoppers oh that makes sense that turn mark there's a deer straight off your nose did you see it alex yeah i saw it i don't know if i got it but i tried we have just made the descent down into austin we are on fumes we are below the red line on gas i've never run the jeep this low before We made it. We made it to gas. Yeah. Well, we left the gas station. Hundred and ten dollars or something later, and went through town. And the only grocery store was the convenience store at the gas station. They had a limited selection and things. We all split a gallon of wiper washer fluid. I think it's obvious reasons why right now on screen, and we were able to. Reprovision the items we needed. Well, we've hit another gate. I don't know what this is. Four or five? Four? Uh, I think maybe. Four? Five? Four or five? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, we come across these gates, and whoever's lead dog has to go open it, and whoever's tail gunner has to go close it. Cows. We got cattle on the road. Yep, that uh, got quite a few in there. Loving to stay on the road. Can't even see a road, much less cattle. Could always try your horn, Alex. Yeah, I didn't want to startle them too bad. I was going to see if I can uh, nudge them without touching them first and then go for the horn. Alex is up there. <laughs> Unfortunately, when Mark and I pulled up, it just obliterated him I with again, I dust. Think. I think he's gonna and get uh, and there's another cloud coming on through. Poor Alex, better oh. close his eyes. <laughs> Shoot. Oh my gosh! Right, my dad, it just followed me down here. Yeah, you and I just dusted him. Guys, look at these pipes here. Look. Denver, look. Aren't these wild? How do those pipes feel? I don't know. I don't know anything about this, but it's very interesting. Onyx usually shows uh, pretty good what we want, and it just shows as BLM.
tires, Alex. Who's actually he's actually biting your tires. I don't know where we're at here, but this is weird. What a key is dropping on your tiger. I have never seen a dog actually bite a tire, but he's actually biting your tires. And this is beautiful scenery. If it's too much dust marked for footage, we can slow it down. I'm good right now. We just hit 70 miles, 7-0. Nice flat summit up here if you want to come up here. And a really great view all around. I do, I do, I do. Gotten ourselves up into the hills far enough here to be in the pine trees. Beautiful little mountain trail we're on. This has turned gorgeous. This is beautiful. It looks like the back way. Yes, uh -huh. it does. I kind of thought that was marshy, but the cows are walking around down there, so maybe it's not too soft. Pretty horses off to the left where I'm at. They're way out there though. Maybe in the next hour ish or so, we're going to be looking for camp. So it's 1425 now, about 1530. We'll be looking for a place to pull off and camp. So stay tuned. This road is actually grassy. It's really cool. There's four wheel drive. This is when she decides to barely move. That is gorgeous though, look at that. How you doing back there, Matthew? You okay back there, Matthew? Yeah, I took your advice, put it in Fort Lowe, and I'm just crawling. That's what I did all that in. And I should shift it to a second a little bit further down. Absolutely gorgeous. Whoa, 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 whoa,
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that person has. Whoa. Okay. Slow down, slow down a whole bunch. He got real sandy on me. Uh, real sandy. Autumn is deceptive. There's some fun. Keep the momentum to not get stuck, but don't take it fast because this throws you around. Holy cow, you guys are so far away. go do that again that was fun back on a pretty well improved track it just came down through the mountains my map has this label as the Pony Express Trail the NVBDR GPX file offered us two route options the primary seemed to be a well-maintained road over Railroad Pass. The secondary route appeared to be a more challenging route along the Pony Express Trail and crossing Overland Pass. Naturally, we chose the latter. Loose rock on the uh, left side. While we're cruising through this alternate track, there is nowhere to camp yet at all. Not too steep, a little bit of a rocky climb. Big branch on the left and a big branch on the right. Good sized branch on the right side there, Mark, be careful. I'm trying to keep my tint off this stuff. I'm straddling a pretty good ravine, Mark. We're still okay, babies. I got it, Mama. The Jeep has to take a little bit of it so that the trailer doesn't have to. Yeah, let's pop out. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty solid yes on this one. Let's go look. After looking around, we decided to set up camp here. It wasn't a problem for Alex and Matthew with their rooftop tents, but I had a ground tent. It took a few minutes to find a place without large rocks for it. It was I just don't want to be centered. dusty. <coughs> it was very, dusty. Yeah. Very dusty, but we had a lot of really fast stretches. We were doing 40, 45, 50 miles an hour. Yeah. Good yeah. periods of time. Cows. 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 Oh. <laughs> That's what I was Cows. telling Mark. Cows. Like, it was crazy having to like 
nudge them out of the way. And what about the wild pack of dogs? I don't think they were wild. I, think they <laughs> I know they there. were wild, but they were wild that was enough. A lot. That, uh, there were at least eight or ten dogs there that were attacking the vehicles. They were actually chewing on your tires. Yes. I they really were. Here. Maybe they're just playing. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe if they... Uh, is, it, is that the peanut gallery? Yeah, this is <laughs> the peanut gallery up here. <laughs> you catch are good. I uh, yeah, Austin I mean, was a little disappointing. What was? Austin. Austin. Yeah. Oh. I agree. I didn't expect much there. Uh, so I, I, I guess I... I shouldn't really be disappointed because I I had a feeling it was just not much of a town. Yeah. And so, but but still, I was a little bit taken aback when I said I want to buy some windshield wiper blades, and she's like, "This is the only store in town, and I don't carry them." Yeah. <laughs> what else, man? This trail, the the detour. Thanks for that, Alex. <laughs> the detour up here to the Pony Express was worth it because now we've got this amazing view and. We are on, it, think about that, we yeah. are on the Pony Express yeah. trail. Yeah. And, and, and I knew that, I've driven this, I've driven parts of it down here in the valley before, yeah. when I was driving White Pine Road 1 down there. It was a very nar narrow, tight <laughs> trail to get here. I think we all have some new, we've, we've earned some new pinstriping oh, yeah. uh, in the last uh, little bit of the road here, but. I enjoy that. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a lot of fun to get up here though. That, that 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 screech the, the, the you know the thorns make. Yeah. I love that sound. Nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> okay. I, I tell you what, if my Jeep ever gets out of I got uh, I'm up right now. Yes, you did. That's why it's but called Alex's. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is yeah. it called again? On the map, buddy? there are, there's an alternate route. This is it. Yeah, I call this route Alex's Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this bypass was. Alex's Revenge. I thought that was the uh, the way to uh, uh, Rocky Gap. Oh no, no, no! That's a whole different one. That's a whole. I don't even know what to name that one. 